still um, 12th of March here like next to my window and my flat it's like full busy unprotected place Most workers are so close, like being members of my family. No wall anyway anymore, so the promise is just empty. No masks, no respect uh, regarding the uh, coronavirus, as the restrictions are uh, in front of the um, the site and constant noise all day long. No even tiny breaks. Every day through the whole year I can't manage any more longer. Unbelievable, no protection from these people and how easily they can get to my flat or whoever from those workers who I don't know, don't trust. I was lied so many times. They can just easily get to my flat. What if I go for holiday, summer holiday with my daughter? What can I expect to have that close? And it's just this level and this is going to be seven floor uh, building in that yard that used to have no taller buildings as those ones in at the other yards and just right next to my window in here it's going to be seven floor building without asking the residentials uh, uh, flats people, residents living around here at White Lion Street. It is scandal and not being protected from this uh, horrible terror of the noise, constant noise.
my legal team is preparing everything what is necessary to prepare for the real um, action because I just do not give my consent for seventh floor building next to my home. And for the compensation for the whole year of my life, damaged life, moral damages, health damages, and so on. This is the kind of danger I have to live in, at my own flat. And today at BBC I was uh, listening about how uh, the uh, coronavirus depressions and mental problems that people have because of the pandemia, what to do. The uh, GPs advises would be gardening and meditation. My question is how any meditation is possible from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. including Saturdays. There is no possibility for me to live life and to be productive. The opportunities I have lost uh, regarding work well, I had interviews interrupted by uh, not working internet because of all the cables lay, lay, layers and, uh, and all the works and all the uh, uh, generators working and all those works uh, working here interrupting my uh, uh, Google meetings interviews. Uh, this all has to be paid off because I lost a year of my life at every possible level and field of my life I will be demanding a massive compensation because how planning department could accept and give consent for building site without protecting us people living just that close unbelievable and scandal. When it gets to the court, when I get uh, the permission from the court, or when the uh, uh, specialists will discover the faces, and when these documents are not going to become uh, my private documentation, I will invite BBC to show how the uh, Eastington Council and every other institution works and puts the people, regular people, in the middle of London in situation like that, but yet at the residential areas. If I were kind, I would just pass them a cup of coffee. But obviously I'm not going to do that. That's how close they are. If they want, they can come and visit my flat. Just from their level they are. That's how close they are. That's how unsafe, strong.
stressed and scared I feel and don't forget that I used to be harassed by these people because they can see me recording this construction site from my own home where I am allowed to do whatever I want to do for my own private documentations and because of complaints purpose as well. So I was harassed on my bus stop on the road, the only one way I can go from the, my home uh, via uh, White Lion Street towards Angel Station or bus stops. I could join the conversation, obviously I am not going to, but I am a witness of the conversation, which I do not wish to be listening to those people. I'm ignored as a single mother entirely by every single institution and law And just the statistics say that during the pandemic, that long as this building lasts the whole year, it's 12th of March today of 2021. And the problem started exactly a year ago. That during the pandemic, 76% women suffer much more because of much bigger responsibilities of keeping the home, house in order, children looking after them and me being a teacher, supply teacher, I cannot get really anything to be done via Zoom meetings because my internet doesn't work because of this uh, uh, electromagnetic field which is caused by the process of the constructions. And how long can I just manage the long lasting buildings and they call these works as quiet works. And the hours of loud works they call when they use this extremely heavy duty industrial machines as you can see this quiet quotation hours are that loud Yet they wave to me. They talk to me. How do they dare to talk to me? How do they dare to call me darling? What is this supposed to mean? Before I was called a cow, just to remind you.
I was also asked whether I was looking for a fame. And then I was attacked outside of my road, of my flat on the street, when I was throwing my uh, rubbish outside, when I was going with my daughter to the shopping, or for a walk, or where I had to use my uh, bus stop on my street, on White Lion Street. And how am I going to leave this way unprotected from those people who I'm really terrified, scared, stressed and because of that all documentations I take because I'm not understood and not helped by any of institutions I was also said, told F U C K O W F at the bus stop, my bus stop at my White Lion Street in front of some other passengers waiting for the bus by these people with their uniforms with the name of the uh, company and I have it recorded as well. I wasn't saying a word. I only was begging them not to talk me to me and leave me alone. So, for all this, I demand a massive compensation for the year of stress, horror, fear and trauma I've been at at the moment. Lose of my, of my loss of my health, my asthma, stress and nerves.